It seems like everybody's quitting the trucking game. Everybody says it's changed. So why do I still recommend trucking? Well, who you're with and where you live is a big indicator of how you will do financially in life. So all I have to say is if you have a game plan, you're willing to be over the road and you're willing to save up all your pennies and peanuts because that's what's going to be. And you could do that long enough, five years, 10 years. At the end of this, you want to get out and do something else? You can. But I'm telling you, it's a great way to save. And saving is just like making money. But for all the ones that want to get into trucking, tell me this. If you got a blueprint, let's go. But if you don't have a business plan, don't even think about it. People on social media always want to show all their wins and everything that's uh, great in their life and just uh, beautiful experiences all the damn time and when you're watching this you almost feel like what am i doing wrong in my life but i just want to talk about a situation that uh, pretty much i regret but honestly it's no one's fault but my own you know about four years ago there was a real estate property and they had about 12 units and it was foreclosed and it was for sale for about 1.5 million and i didn't have that much money but i i was able to raise some money and the bank would have lended me the money to buy this like uh, 12 unit plex right And so I talked with my family, I talked with Jenna, uh, I talked with my friends, and, you know, everyone talked me out of it. They were like, man, you know, you don't have that much money. How do you know if you're going to be able to rent it out? And so I didn't pull that trigger. Well, looking uh, back uh, today, uh, someone else uh, did a remodel on it, uh, built it up, and now it's worth uh, $7 million. And that's just four years later. You know, in life, everybody always wants to talk you out of everything. And at that time, people didn't believe that I could do it. And the truth was, I didn't have enough belief in myself. And that's exactly how it is when you tell your family you want to get into trucking, right? Because they're not going to believe in you. You know, they're not going to believe in your dreams. Shoot, let's be honest here. You barely believe in them yourself. You know, if anyone is able to change your opinion about your dream or goal, uh, definitely that means that you didn't believe in yourself enough. And that's what happened to me when I wanted to buy that 12plex. Yeah, it's a great idea. Yeah, it could be like this. But I was able to let people talk me out of it. If you care about something, you do the hard work, the leg up for it, and you just do all your research and due diligence, and you let that neighbor, that stranger, that loved one talk you out of your goal or dream, you definitely didn't believe in yourself. And so why do you ask people to believe in you when you didn't believe in it yourself? That's the big problem here. And so when it comes to trucking, you know, it's just like that. I want you to do the research. Is it good every day? No, it's not. Are you on the road? Yes, you are. Are you sacrificing your time? Yes, you are. Are you going to be alone a lot? Yes, you are. So if you check off all those boxes and you say, you know what? I enjoy being by myself. I'm comfortable in my own skin. I'm a type of person that can go to the movie theaters by myself. I enjoy experiencing. I enjoy just moving that needle and being a little bit uncomfortable and being in places that I've never been, that culture shock. If that's you, then over the road trucking might be for you. But I want you to know that it is a lonely road. 
And if you're looking for people uh, just to give you that nod and say, hey, yeah, you should do it. Well, you don't believe in it yourself enough to do it. So at that point, you got to really put in that research and really dig deep and find out, is this what you really want? Because we really do get one life. You know, you, you hear the jokes. I interview thousands of truckers and at the end of the career, they always say, don't do it. So if they're all telling you don't do it, why is that? You know, uh, is it something that they regret? Could be. But then I talk to others. Lifers with 50, 55, 53, 54 years experience. And what do they say? They had no regrets. So you just got to think, is this the life for you? Because we really do get one. But that's why I bring up that not even a loss, just a life experience. Don't let people talk you out of your dreams. And definitely don't share your dreams with everybody. And... When it comes down to it, stay consistent, man. That's all you need to do. On days that you just don't feel motivated, consistency will definitely get you through. And I can tell you that firsthand. But, you know, to all the people that say that uh, this wasn't a good life for them, well, they should have really thought deep and hard what they wanted in life and, and went that route. Because it's not about money. Yeah, we need enough to survive. We need enough to provide. But if you're calling driving on the road to different places and being in your truck a sacrifice, then it's not for you, you know. And it's not meant to be for you. And that's okay, but you just got to dig deep, you know. But I just wish you guys the best in any path you take, but... I just want you guys to know that this life is so short, man. So I hope you find out something you love to do and and get paid to do it. <laughs> but yeah.